Uh, we've been uh, carrying this research on labor market intelligence, information and uh, ICT uh, integration in career services for almost three years now. Uh, we've had one study released but now we're going to have uh, uh, another study and a set of tools on uh, the specific issue of ICT. So uh, we have practical tools and we also have of course research results which we are going to share uh, with the community. Uh, I could highlight um, very strongly the idea that it's not sufficient to have new tools being released like new websites or te new technologically based services unless these tools are very well integrated in the provision of career services and a strategy of career services for individuals so that they are really helpful and that they, let's say, help people learn about how they can manage their careers, how they can see opportunities in the labor market and see also how learning opportunities can be helpful for them, helpful for them. So in a way, it's not just plastering the ICT on top of what a guidance is, but it's to, to let's say, have a development of guidance services, which takes the opportunity of ICT and really uh, integrates it in it. So I would say that's a really strong result. Yeah. Uh, Pathfinder is a very interesting tool, uh, linked to, uh, in general, very interesting policy principle and initiative. It's got uh, self-assessment uh, tools for people to, to be able to uh, better evaluate, understand their needs and position themselves in terms of, uh, uh, let's say, the support they need. Uh, also there's a component of gamification inside of uh, so there's a game the careers game in uh, in pathfinder which is also a very interesting aspect uh, that is uh, let's say it's growing a little bit across europe although but an, on an uh, in an even way and let's say pathfinder is a good example of how uh, gamification can be included in a career development tool You have a lot, the, the conference in the presidency itself is very dedicated to ICT. So of course we, we can talk about, let's say, a direction which is heavily supported by digital technologies. But in a way the potential of digital technologies needs to be harnessed to support uh, uh, a more background development of guidance, which is reaching people in the context where they are. So what I see is a lot of parallel developments uh, that need to be combined so this let's say this getting closer to people so it's, let's say stepping out of the office of the councillor and going to where people are and at the same time take advantage of what uh, the digital technology is offering to enable this to to happen so i see this is a very very strong direction now for this to really happen we also will need strong uh, exchange and collaboration at european level so that countries can learn with each other also.